What's up guys, it's Matthew from JN Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at this mouse from TechNet that comes in at an extremely low price point. Alright guys, so this mouse has an ambidextrous design, which means it's great for both right and left handed users. However, the forward and backward buttons are only located on the left side, which means if you're left handed, you won't be able to take advantage of this feature. The mouse has six non-programmable buttons, which include left and right click, forward and backward, a DPI change, and a middle click. Speaking of the DPI changer, the mouse has an optical sensor which has three different DPI levels, which include 1000, 1600, and 2000. The sensor tracks pretty decently, though I wouldn't recommend it for games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive because both deceleration and acceleration are present. And what I mean by that is if I were to move the mouse very slow in a small space, it would track a certain way on the screen. But if I were to move it very fast in the same amount of space, then it would go in completely different areas of the screen than it previously did. Of course, deceleration and acceleration are both compromises that you have to deal with when you're only paying $10 for a mouse. The mouse itself does have blue LEDs, which may be a deal breaker for you, but I actually found them to be pretty appealing. However, the left LED right below the right, I'm sorry, the left click on my particular unit rarely functions, but I highly doubt that you'll have this same problem. The right and left click both have a very tight feeling when you click them, which I actually found to be pretty good for a $10 mouse. They just feel nice to press, and that's all I can say. They, they just have a very tight, quick feeling. That's all I can say about the mouse. That's the only way I can describe it is tight. The middle click, however, is not quite as tight, but it still feels very good to press down, whether you're using it uh, as a programmable button in a game or just using it to scroll. The scroll wheel does have a rubber coating which definitely helps with scrolling and changing between weapons during, in different games. Uh, the scroll steps are very definitive and you can definitely tell uh, the difference between each scroll step. Now I'll be giving you a quick sound test of what all the different buttons sound like and the microphone is about three or four feet away. Something I will say about the large design of the mouse is that it's probably going to be better for palm grippers. I have medium to large size hands and I'm typically a palm gripper and I was able to use a palm grip perfectly fine on this mouse. You know, it slightly elevates your palm. It just feels really nice to hold but I can definitely see it also being great for claw style grippers or even hybrid grippers. And the forward and back buttons are a little mushy in spite of their tactility. They do feel tactile but they just have a little bit of a mushy feeling to them. The mouse is wired, which means there's no lag or anything like that. And the wire itself is braided. It's colored in black, which easily makes it blend in with any setup. But the cable is only about five and a half feet long. I would have liked to seen it be a little bit longer, just so that you would have more cable management options. But hey, it's a compromise you're having to deal with when paying for a $10 gaming mouse. So at the end of the day, is this mouse worth it? Yes. And no. See, I wouldn't recommend this for a lot of FPS titles, mainly due to the deceleration and acceleration. What I would recommend for a cheap budget option for FPS games would be something on the lower end of the spectrum from a company like SteelSeries or Logitech. You can find mice for the $20 to $30 range that have a pretty decent sensor. But if you're not playing many FPS games, if you're just playing, you know, regular games like I used it for Batman Arkham Knight and it worked just fine. It's pretty responsive. So if you're just using it for games similar to that, as long as you're not using it for FPS gaming, then I would definitely recommend this mouse, especially for only being $10. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see a video comparing the best mice under $15, then let me know in a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.